Harlow, you going to college? Check your jeans. Do you have anything you want to add? Look at our signs. We had so much fun. So Well, today's the day. Janice and I have our event. And okay, so the event is at UCF, that's University of Central Florida. I actually used to be a student there in early 2014 when I graduated high school. But anyways, obviously I transferred to University of South Florida when we moved to Tampa Bay. But they have a, an event called Respect the Vest and it's a service dog awareness event and they have different programs coming and they invited Janice and I to represent owner trainers and basically we're going to be on a panel for a Q&A answering questions from the public about service dogs representing owner trainers and it was a really big honor for them to ask us this we're and representing you guys. we're excited this is the outfit I was going to wear <laughs> and I didn't realize we should dress up more so I have to go you don't have well, I want to, because, like, I want to be, like, professional for this, you, you know? And I think it would be cool if we had the same blazer. Okay, with the blazer. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God. So, I'm actually going out with Judd today to find a, a better outfit for this. Um, but I'm really excited. They sent us the questions late last night, and we practiced. And I think it'll be, I think it'll be good. We're, we're looking forward to this. We are off to Target to Target. Target to find me an outfit for today. Not that I'd be totally self-conscious being underdressed, but like we're representing owner trainers on this panel. I want to look at least semi-professional, so I'm going to find some clothes. And he needs lunch. Janice isn't coming because she has some stuff to do around the house, so it's totally fine. We'll, we'll, we'll go on a lunch date, babe. Do you want to eat first? Now I'm going to get shopping over with because right. it could be Star Wars toys. Though. Star Wars toys, of course. Made it to Target and of course we're in the Star Wars aisle. Oh, I'm there. pointing the right way. <laughs> I'm looking at the Star Wars stuff. I want stuff. I want all of it. Oh, look at this. Oh my goodness. Oh, what? We don't need this big thing. We, we don't not need it. No, we don't need it. Oh, this is not what we're here not for. What, here for. <laughs> what are you doing, child? I'm getting this on. <laughs> so I wanted to Janice and I to match um, blazers because I thought it looked cool. She has black, and this is the same one in dark blue. So that's like not totally matching, but semi-matching. This is my size, right? Looks. Like it fits. We are back. I got Panera, just some chicken noodle soup. Judd got Chick fil A, which is like his favorite thing ever. Mm -hmm. I have been feeling rather nauseous today. Pushed an IV Zofran in the car through my port. Didn't help as much as I had hoped. And I don't know, sometimes my body's really confusing. I feel like I could eat, not hunger, but I don't know how to explain it. So I'm trying to eat because. Even though I'm tube fed, my doctor encourages me to eat orally, otherwise I could lose what little function I have left in my stomach. And I'm taking little nibbles of my bread from Panera, and it's making me feel so nauseous, and it's just frustrating. So I had a moment in the car, there were some tears, Chad helped me through it, and feeling better emotionally now, and physically, thankfully, not as nauseous. And I'm just gonna see what I can do with my food here, but... Sometimes we have moments like that and we just keep moving forward. So we're gonna eat our lunch. The dogs are playing outside, burning some energy before we head off to this event. We are on the way to the event. We're super excited. Are you excited, babe? I am. Yeah. Proud of you. Oh, thank you. Judd is gonna be in the crowd, so he'll be able to video us while we're answering the service dog questions. This is just like a great opportunity to spread awareness for service dogs. And again, Janice and I are like really honored that they asked us to come represent owner trainers for the panel. <laughs> really got a funny face. She's got her cool vest on and Harlow, you going to college? 
We made it. Janice, you look spiffy. Got our matching blazers. And yes. we're in the car because it's kind of a far walk and they're gonna take us from the golf cart to the student union. Yes. It is hot, so the golf cart is a good idea for both of us. And yeah, excited. Carlos in a golf cart. <laughs> this is so cool. Thanks for picking us up. No problem. <laughs> Pleasure. Off we go. Harlow's enjoying this. <laughs> She's like, I want to drive. <laughs> Probably. We made it. We're in the student union and we're excited. Harlow's excited. There's Janice with her man and her little man. Hi, I'm Janice Ibertis and I'm an owner trainer. Um, I have Orion here and I've been owner training since. Um, a legitimate service of working. So, you guys heard anybody bark yet? 
Is that crazy? Norm, a normal set of dogs, 10 of them or whatever, they'd be barking by now, wouldn't they? At least one of them. So it's our Number responsibility five. as handlers to make sure our dogs are up to par when we take them out in public so we don't distract other teams we may potentially come into. And so, you know, the dogs need to blend in and do their job without causing disruption. How do your quote unquote mental illnesses uh, affect how you deal with the public? And how the public interacts with you? It can be very difficult because people don't see me. They just look at me and they just think I'm automatically healthy. And I get very dirty looks at the parking disability. And I get a lot of dirty looks when I'm parking disability. And automatically, they just look at me or my husband and ask, are you blind? What's wrong with you? I have no problem automatically saying, what are my disabilities? But ask in a polite way. I have no issues just naming off every illness I have. No problem. But if you're going to come off as what's wrong with you, that yeah. comes off a little bit wrong to me. I'm just like, mm -mm, I don't know. I'm sorry. That, that's not the right way. And I'll tell them that's not the right way to ask. And you know, that's usually my everyday problem with invisible disabilities. For me, I'm not so much invisible anymore. I've got the mask, I've got the port, the feeding tube. I have to use mobility aids now. So I wouldn't say I'm totally invisible anymore, but it is to a certain point. Sometimes I'm in a wheelchair, and then I'll get up to take a few steps, and some people like totally lose it when I do that. Like, oh my god, she just got the gift of walking. <laughs> and people use tools for all different types of reasons. So that's mainly where I got it. I'm autistic. I don't notice when people give me dirty looks. People have to come and tell me, like, you just walked a few steps. So, <coughs> <me>. so, so <laughs> yeah, she tells me when people give us dirty looks. I don't notice it. Um, what, like Janice, if people ask me what I have the service up for, as long as I'm feeling okay, like health-wise, I'm okay to talk about it, so long as you do so in a way that is positive, you know? In a polite manner. Exactly. Right. Um, before I got the port feeding, all that stuff, and I was totally invisible. The main thing was, who are you training your dog for? How long do you get to keep her? Things like that. Right, right. Obviously, we get those questions because we're career racers, but yeah. mm -hmm. I've definitely, I've had people, like, I've had stories from other puppy racers on campus about people, like, screaming at them and being like, like, hi, puppy, puppy, and then they go, oh, they must be deaf because I've had somebody have headphones in, headphones in. Clearly they can hear, I and they're walking, and then they ignored them, so they were like, oh, she must be deaf. I've been sitting, I sat at Panero, service dog laying next to me. Somebody waved their hand in front of my eyes. I didn't react, because I was kind of thinking, like, what the heck? And then they go to pet the dog, I'm like, don't pet my dog, and they literally jumped out. <laughs> <laughs> like, you're not blind? No? What are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing over here? So, oh, we got that a lot. <laughs> no, I think favorite story, we took her to downtown Disney. And oh, she had yeah. sunglasses on. Because of the sensitivity to the light. Yeah. Right. Right. And people were dancing. And she was like, oh, I gotta record this. And she's recording now. <laughs> and people record me with my dog all the time, right? They were doing cool stuff. Right. I was gonna ask if they wanted the video. I wasn't and being weird. She was <laughs> recording them dancing. And then she stopped and we walked past and they, we heard them. They were like, did a blind girl just record? <laughs> I couldn't stop laughing at that one. We all were just on the floor laughing. Yeah, I think it's I think it's hard for people because there are tools that people use, you know, depending on what their disability is, and that can be deceiving because they might be like you said, Jeff, or Jackie, or using the tools for different reasons. Exactly. So you might be using sunglasses, but you might just be using sunglasses exactly. and things like that, or the wheelchair uh, situation. So it's definitely important to realize that. They, they get used for many different things. Look at our signs! We had so much fun! So I, I like them. I really do. Professional. Say the whole darn word. No, so professional. <laughs> no, the whole thing. Off duty and getting some love for being so good. They literally just slept back here. That was a lot of fun and people were so responsive and asked a lot of great questions. What do you think, babe? It was 
crazy amounts of fun. It was great. It was really great. The most amount of fun. And they were so good at accommodating us. Like the walk from where we parked to the student union with the heat and just how far it was, that's not something we could do. So they arranged a golf cart and they were just so, so nice. And there were so many dogs there. Now all of the dogs were a bit excitable. You know, they're great at ignoring other service dogs because that's part of their training, but put a lot of dogs in a small environment that's a high distraction thing for them to most do. Most of them were puppies, and most of them did amazing. Most of them were puppies, and most of them did great. And Harlow and Orion were spectacular. Harlow eventually fell asleep. You know, there were puppies walking right by her, and one of them tried to initiate play, and Harlow was just like, nope. I was really impressed. And all of the dogs were so, so good. We were the only owner trainers there. It was Canine Companions for Independence, Southeastern Guide Dogs, and Puppy Raisers from both of the programs, and some people who received dogs from the program, but it was a great experience. Everyone was so nice, and now we are all thoroughly exhausted, so we are going back to Paul and Janice's house. Well, we had a lot of fun at the event, but we totally crashed when we got back. It's exhausting, but a great opportunity to educate and spread awareness. We could not put everything from the event in the vlog, of course, but we put some pretty good stuff. I mean... No, I think you put what you can in, and I put what I can, so I think we could have put, like... Most of it. Yeah. But, I mean, it was... Put your stuff, and I put my stuff. It was so. two hours long, and obviously we can't get everything in. It was really fun, though. So, basically, on the panel, there was, like, a graduate from Southeast and a graduate from... Um, canine Companions from Independence, Puppy Raisers, people who train for those programs and then we were asked to represent owner trainers so you had a little bit of everything on the panel which I think was amazing and just well, there was about like 50 people there I think so it was it went well and <laughs> tomorrow I have my ketamine infusion with the neck injections it's really early so I've got a busy day Super tomorrow early. it's very oh. early and we had a good day so with that I'm gonna say good night and thanks for joining us on our adventure.